Step 6. Verify the output of the model. In this step, we already implement the model as a function block in the PLC. And then, to verify the actual performance of this model, we will connect the PID output to the actual process as well as uh, the input of this model and check out the output of the model, compare the output of this model with the actual process feedback. If the output of the model basically match with the process feedback uh, from the actual process, so that means uh, we can trust this uh, model. Especially, we need to see the trend change. Basically, we want when the process value uh, going high or going low, so the trend between the process value and the model output, the trend change should be the same or match. And if this uh, process model meets our requirements and uh, the performance of the model output match our process value, so we can trust this model and we can use this uh, implemented function block as our simulated process object. And then this simulated process object will be served for the PID parameter tuning. In the previous step, we already implement the detailed parameters uh, into this function block, uh, as well as uh, the sample time setting, that is uh, two seconds. Those parameters are come from the transfer function, which is identified from the system identification tool from MATLAB. And once we connect the output from the PID to the input of this function block and watch this output from this function block, and then use this output connect to the trend. And in the trend wheel, we will watch the curve uh, from the actual process value feedback and uh, the output of this uh, function block. And now I'm connecting this uh, PLC, I'm online. So I'm giving the control signal to this uh, function block input and output of this uh, function block is calculating the results. And now the calculated result that is a uh, 42, that is a uh, temperature. I'm using this uh, trace function provide from this uh, controller. And as we can see, the light green that is the actual signal from my temperature process object. And the blue line, that is the output from this function block, transfer function. And the right curve, that is the control command. So that means from here, my output from 25 to 15, and from 15 to 25. So the temperature got changed. So as we can see, the trend from the blue and the green line they are pretty match. This is another part of the trend. As we can see, the temperature from 42 to 46, this range, so the trend is pretty match. Since the operating point of my test system, uh, that is uh, 43 or 42. So from this trend, uh, while the system is working around uh, 43, from the trend from 42 to 46, so the simulated value and the actual feedback, they are really match, which means we can use this function block as our simulated process object and use this simulated process object connect the PID output. Okay, this is a step six, verify the output of the model. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.